We all know that testing is a necessity, but what type of testing do we need for our project? Today, we'll guide you through a comprehensive overview of software testing types and provide a detailed checklist. Let's get started. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. First things first, the essentials of software testing include testing types such as unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing, also known as end-to-end -end testing. Let's review each one in detail. First off, the unit testing. Imagine a big puzzle. Unit testing is like checking each puzzle piece to ensure it's the right shape and color. This ensures every single piece works just as it should before we even start assembling the puzzle. In software testing, unit testing means testing individual functions or methods in isolation. It's necessary to ensure they work as intended without relying on other parts of the code. This involves creating comprehensive test cases, simulating dependencies, comparing test outputs, handling errors, ensuring high test coverage, and retesting after changes. Next, we have integration testing. This is like connecting the puzzle pieces and checking if they fit together to form the correct picture. In terms of software testing, this means verifying that different modules or components work together correctly. This involves verifying input-output consistency, data flow, and error handling between components. It's also important to validate edge cases at integration points, ensure dependencies work properly, and address any issues found. Now comes functional testing. This is where we step back and check if the puzzle matches the picture on the box. Does it align with the design? This ensures the puzzle, or software, meets the purpose it was built for. When it comes to software, this involves ensuring the application performs tasks according to the specified requirements. For example, clicking a button triggers the correct action. All user stories and scenarios must be clearly defined, followed by creating test cases, validating inputs, ensuring coordination between the front end and back end, and avoiding regressions. Finally, we have acceptance testing which is like showing the finished puzzle to your friend or parent to see if they think it's done correctly. If they're happy, you're good to go. In terms of software testing, this process involves validating requirements, critical features, usability, and compatibility in a production-like environment, as well as addressing issues and obtaining final approval for deployment. However, functional testing types are just the beginning. There's a wide variety of additional testing types to explore. So buckle up, our Jelvix experts will guide you through them all. First, interface testing aims to check whether different components of the software communicate seamlessly. Static testing involves reviewing code, design, or documentation without executing the software to catch errors early and save time. Recovery testing ensures your software can bounce back from unexpected failures. For example, if the app crashes, does it recover without losing data? If the user session expires, can they log back in, and so on. Once updates are introduced, it's time for our testers to perform regression testing, ensuring new additions don't disrupt existing functionalities. In component testing, we focus on individual features or modules, ensuring they work as expected before integrating them into the larger system. This approach goes deeper than unit testing, targeting more complex parts of the app. Next, we perform smoke testing, which acts as a gatekeeper for further testing. During this phase, a quick check of critical functionalities is performed. This helps determine whether the build is stable enough to proceed to more detailed testing. Before moving on, ad hoc testing is a common step. Unstructured in its approach, it empowers testers to explore widely, relying on their experience and intuition to go beyond pre-written test cases and uncover unexpected bugs. This is a real hidden gem for revealing hidden issues. After fixing bugs, we perform retesting to confirm the fixes work as intended. However, even with critical functionality and user scenarios tested, Jelvix developers don't stop there. The key question remains, how can we ensure the software is robust in areas where it's most likely to fail? That's where boundary value analysis comes in. This type of testing focuses on testing the edges of input ranges, where bugs are more likely to occur. For example, if a form accepts values from 1 to 100, we check how the system behaves at 0, 1, 100, and 101 to catch edge case issues. After that, Jelvix experts move on to sanity testing, a quick, focused check to ensure small updates or bug fixes didn't break any key functionalities. Finally, let's review gray box testing, which bridges technical knowledge and user behavior testing. It combines white box testing focus on internal structure with black box testing emphasis on external functionality. 
the result is better coverage and improved efficiency, thanks to a comprehensive approach that considers both code logic and user interactions. Oh, we almost forgot. One of the Jelvix experts' favorite testing type is exploratory testing, where testers actively learn and test the software without predefined scripts. Unlike ad hoc testing, which is completely unstructured, exploratory testing is structured in its intent, but flexible in execution, with a clear focus and documentation. This makes it ideal for uncovering hidden issues, testing new features, validating critical functionalities, and improving usability, all while adapting in real time. It's easy to see why it's one of our favorites. Yet, functional testing is just one side of the coin. While it ensures that the software does what it's supposed to do, it doesn't tell us how well it performs under real-world conditions. This is where non-functional testing comes in, focusing on critical aspects such as security, scalability, reliability, overall usability, performance, user load resistance, data volume endurance, and the solution's operational limits. If you're craving even more testing insights from Jelvix, check out our video about how interface testing could save your business millions. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.